A cross-country team at a Newport News High School has an annual tradition in honor of a teammate who lost his life to cancer. News 3's Danielle Seda tells us how these high schoolers are wearing their hearts on their sleeves as a tribute to their teammate. It's definitely tough work, but with the motivation we have, it's not too hard. For the last few years, the cross-country team has been motivated by a memory. That of their teammate, Luke Gear, who students say was a great athlete and friend. The thing I remember most about him was his desire to work and his effort. He was always trying to be the best. In the summer of 2020, Annalise Gear says her son ran a different kind of race, a race against the clock. We were told that he had cancer and that it was a very rare and very difficult cancer to treat. Six months life expectancy from the time of diagnosis. Gear says her son was determined to live and didn't let cancer slow him down or keep him off his team. But he still did everything he could to run with us, and even if he wasn't running with us, he was going on bike rides. After months of treatment, Gear says there was little left that doctors could do, and his friends so desperately wanted to help. Jack, don't break another rake, please. Teammates like Matthew Schwanenberg set up a tribute called Leaves for Luke. Even if it wasn't monetarily, if we didn't raise as much money as we ended up doing, it was just to show him that we weren't giving up. We were going to keep fighting for him because we knew that he was fighting basically an impossible battle. That first year, the team raised several thousand dollars. Unfortunately, Luke passed away December 22nd of 2020. It was the last day that we had finished raking leaves that first year, and we were all ready for him. We made jokes about him getting a PS5. Instead of a game console, the team says they used some of the money raised to carry Luke with them in their hearts and on the field, wearing tracksuits with the ribbon for pediatric uh, cancer along with his initials. And Swanenberg says his friend's legacy lives on in another way. Uh, my husband and I said, uh, you know, if we cannot send Luke to college, we want to help others achieve their dream of uh, a college education. And so we offer two $2,500 scholarships. Students have one more weekend to go before the rigs go away until next year, with the goal of hitting 24 houses and a similar mindset that Luke had to push through to prevail. And I'm not happy to do it at my house if I have to, but for this, I'm happy to do it. In Newport News, Danielle Seda, News 3. Well, the team has a goal to help raise $10,000 to support childhood cancer research. Now, to learn how you can help, you can click on this link on our website on WTKR.com.